Hey everybody, this is David and this is my review for The Edge of Tomorrow, which I just saw yesterday. I did not come up with that myself just now. I promise. Um, let's start with the pros. The pros, I really enjoy Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt in this role. Um, I, bo I thought they both had really good chemistry together and I thought the, their characters really uh, transitioned really well throughout the film from their their character development was really good together and and even separate if you look at them as individual characters I think their characters really progressed like Tom Cruise for an example you see how he starts off as this um this uh, I think he was a general and uh, he he didn't he wasn't the type of character that like starts off strong in a combat sort of way, you know, he's he's not a really skilled fighter, but he is someone that like is very smart, and he's he you see him growing. Like there's a great montage where he's training from Emily Blunt's character, and to be a better fighter, so that he can get farther into it. It's like it, it's kind of like watching a video game character in his struggles and trying to beat the game more and trying to get better at it, you know? So it, that's a smart way of looking at it, I guess. Everything in this movie is really nicely explained. Um, from from the beginning, when they start setting up all the pieces that they'll be repeating later on, that they'll be reminding you of, because this is very Groundhog uh, Day type of, you know, the movie with Bill Murray. It's, it's a lot like that bit in a more sci-fi setting which I thought was a lot of fun to play around with and the movie is actually very fun it's a, it's a very fun movie I was someone who's going into this movie not knowing what to expect and I remember before I heard other people's reviews I was one of those people that did not care about this movie I was actually not gonna review this film until I heard other reviews saying, hey, this is a really good film, you should go check it out. The The marketing for this movie has been really bad. That's what I heard from a lot of people. So, I kind of agree with that, because I was like trying to think of the trailers, and every time I tried remembering this movie, I, I could not remember one detail. Not too much about it. Like I did not care for the trailers, that I, I hardly even remembered them. That's how bad, I guess, the trailers must have been, the marketing for this film. And uh, I agree, I, I thought the movie was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot, a lot more than what I thought it was going to be. And uh, I'm, that's why it's always good to listen to reviews, because sometimes um, these reviews can help a movie that is not marketed properly gain a little bit of recognition and hopefully the movie will succeed now because of that because I think this is like one of the best films this year the most entertaining films this year um, it's not the best film this year but it is entertaining there were there were really great moments of, of comedy in this movie that I wasn't expecting also uh, for an example there was a great scene where Tom Cruise um, it showed how he uh, escaped to go look for the girl and um, what he did the first time was he rolled under the the truck and <laughs> the first time he did it he got killed because he didn't go at the right time so I thought that was pretty and then they showed him succeeding at it right after so that's something that I really liked about this movie is that after they showed us certain things throughout the day they might touch on it once or twice and then that's it they will probably reference it again later on but they won't like dwell deep like okay this happens again on this day the movie is aware that we get it and they don't like re they don't have to go over that again with us we get it this is like groundhog's day so cer certain things are happening on this day that and that's where a lot of the jokes, their the, the strength lies in their jokes. It's they have, they make fun of that a little bit, and uh, that's definitely one of their strong points in this film. The cons in this movie are um, there wasn't really a lot that I didn't like actually. Um, 
Probably the biggest thing that bugged me were the designs of the aliens. I, I thought they were very generic. Um, I, I felt like they were something from the Matrix. Uh, if you remember the robots from the Matrix, the third Matrix film specifically, I remember them the most from there. Uh, they remind me a lot of the like that, but with like bright neon lights on them, which was like a it was like a crossbreed between Tron and and the Matrix machines. And <laughs> I I didn't feel that they were aliens. I felt they were more like machine than you know um, life from other planets. And you know I I felt that was probably one of the weakest things for me in this movie. I I also would have liked to see more of the J squad. I this is not really a negative. This is more of a nitpick, but uh I felt that something that the movie could have been stronger on was the, the group that he was forced to be with and that he he kind of got along with, especially at the end. The end he he got along with all of them and had them join him to stop the, the threat uh, <laughs> and uh, it would have been nice to get a little bit more character development from them uh, I, th I thought they had good um, good development but I just felt it wasn't enough focus on them that but I guess they served the purpose that they were uh, there for and and they served it fine so um, for what it was worth uh, I felt they worked um, I just would have liked to get to know them a little bit more who you know these these guys are because it seems like he established a relationship with them we just never got to see that relationship fully develop final thoughts I'm gonna say this um, I really think the movie is worth checking out um, I, I check it out in theaters at least once go check it out once because it is very entertaining and the, you know the Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray it, that that kind of idea is fun. Time travel is always fun. I said this in my X-Men Days of Future Past review. I'm gonna say it here right now. I think t you can never go wrong with time travel. Even though there are some films that have gone wrong with time travel, you think of the best time travel films like Back to the Future, uh, the new, the, the best Star Trek films have time travel. Um, so a lot of things, a lot of film with time travel to me is always a lot of fun especially when it's done right like this and this movie gets it all right I, I guess that's about it um, go check out the movie uh, if you've seen it let me know what you thought of it because you know I'm curious to, I'd like to know what everybody else thinks and you know comment in my YouTube uh, this YouTube video let me know uh, press the like button if you like my review uh, press the dislike button if you like my review scratch that last part just just like it the video okay forget about the dislike button that one doesn't count and um, I, I guess that's it I guess go see the movie have fun I'll see you tomorrow